Hi guys, welcome back. So now we are going to discuss about events. So basically what are the types of events are available and we'll see the future lecture one by one events. Okay. So now let's see what are the types of events are available. So if you see here actually, so when I draw the diagram, right, when I open the new diagram, this is the start event basically. This is the end event basically, right. So maybe if you right click, if you just click that and if you go to setting, you can see that list of events basically. Okay. So the intermediate throw event is there. End event is there. So message start event is there. Timer event is there. Conditional start event is there. Signal start event is there. So for each event, you'll have different, different behavior, right? So for example, if you are taking end event, this when the process, uh, when the process ending, we'll just keep that actually. So it will not proceed after that actually. Okay. So then the message start event. So when you are triggering some message actually, so then you can, uh, so when you are triggering the message, so the process will get started actually. So the timer start event, so maybe daily morning 8 a.m. or like that type of configuration every 10 minutes it has to trigger. So that type of configuration we can do. So based on that our timer event will help us to do that. Okay. So based on that our timer event will start and it will do the process. So conditional start event. Okay. So maybe when we are creating the, when we are starting the process itself, you should be satisfied this condition. Okay. Maybe this variable should have like a this value okay then only this uh, event should be this process should be triggered actually so that type of uh, st stuff we will go for the conditional start event again signal start event so this is like a similar like a message start event actually but the endpoints and whatever they that their configuration everything is somewhat difficult actually so when you need to go with some signals based on the signal if you want to trigger if you want to trigger it then you can obviously go with the signal start event. So because visualization also you can see that it differently compared to message start event. Okay. So these are our types. These are our events are there actually. Let's see one by one. Obviously I hope you, I, I, I just assume that you know what is start event and what is end event. So when you are creating some process. So for example, this is one process. Okay. So this is, this is what will, will usually will create the task, uh, will create the process, right? So I'm just assuming that. So you aware of the start event and the end event. So when the process is starting, we need to create a start event. When the process is ending, we will go with the end event. Okay. So if you are, if you doesn't know about this, please go through my uh, old lecture, uh, old videos. You can know this exactly clearly. Okay. So you can come to understand that. Okay. What is start and end event? Okay. So in this lecture, in this video. Okay. So let's target. Uh, we'll target message start event. What is message start event? Let's target that in this video. Okay. So let me click this. Okay. So you can see the message. Okay. Then I, I have to tell that like uh, some user validation maybe. Okay. So the, so the, the input has to come, right? So there may be, if I want, this is just a form actually. Don't worry about it. Just a, just a user form. Okay. Then the validation should get end. Okay. So, okay, basically how the start event, if I go to properties panel, so you know that, right? So they, whenever the message event is coming into picture, so message is nothing but you need to pass a message to this event. Okay. So how can I pass actually, so I can target the message actually. So maybe my, my user ID. Okay. Maybe so. I should pass this way message actually, uh, I mean the message name, I should trigger it out so that this process will get started actually. Okay. So then the user validation, maybe I'm just keeping as a like user task. I can just validate it. Okay. Let me save this basically. Okay. So maybe let me give, give it as a message start event. Okay. Let me save this. So this is just a user validation. Nothing, nothing will be there in the form. So we need to understand now. So how I can start this process? Maybe I can start clicking on the start process button from the UI tool, like, like uh, our UI, uh, like Kamunda UI. Otherwise, how, if you are configuring this into your application, how basically you can start this process. Okay. So let's see that. Let me give the naming as well as actually, let me give the same message start event. Okay. 
so the name also I will give the same ok let me save this uh, let me just refresh my project so that I can come to know that yeah the project got that actually let me start the server so hope you understood right what is message event so message event is nothing but when you want to message start event right so when you want to start the process based on some message okay you can go for the message start event so now my target starter right maybe if i go here sorry if i go here let me log in actually okay so So maybe if I go task list, so there is no task. Obviously, you can go and start the process like this actually. Okay, so when you are doing like this, right? So message start event. Okay, so it will create a task, but as per the our Kamunda itself, it will process the it will send the message name actually. Okay, when you are starting the process itself, it will send some message name. This is one way. So how I can do in other way okay so i can i hope if you see my last video you can come to know that actually message come on message rest endpoint okay i can go here okay i can pick the rest endpoint for us actually so this is the message event okay so this is the sample request so here the message name is fine actually i need to just i need to send a message name whatever i configured here so what is the message name in configured user id correct so this is a message name all right so I'm just going and giving us a message name as user ID. Okay. Then if I trigger this, already one process was there, right? So if you go here and if you see that one process was there, let me hit this. Okay. And if I refresh now, see, you can see another process also created that also in user validation. Okay. You can start a process. Okay, this is one process. This is one process. You can start a process by sending some message name. Okay, that message name should be configured where it should be configured under the message event, message start event. So whatever message name you if you want, you can configure it. Okay. So hope you understood what is message start event, right? So and other types of events are there. Let's see those events in the future videos. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.